The oceans and seas cover around 70% of the Earth, making the marine environment the largest habitat on the planet. There are two distinct types of plankton. The first are plants, otherwise known as phytoplankton. These microscopic plants need light to grow, so they are found in the top 10 meters of the oceans. They live as single cells or grouped together in chains, and they can photosynthesize just like plants on the land. It has been well observed that phytoplankton can control their movements in the water and move towards light and nutrients. The vitoplankton can clearly sense the predator is there. They flee even from the chemical scent of the predator, but are most agitated when sensing a feeding predator. Zooplankton feed on phytoplankton and are then eaten by larger zooplankton, fish, larger fish, and so on. Plankton are at the base of a complex aquatic food web. Sea surface temperature is expected to increase 2 degrees Celsius on average globally in the next 20 years. Some of the consequences of this increase include changes in ocean circulation and higher water column stratification, thus affecting the nutrient availability for the growth of marine vitoplankton. Globally, it is estimated that the sea temperature rise will cause phytoplankton and zooplankton biomass to decrease by 6% and 11%. Conservation efforts to save phytoplankton. Eat eco-friendly fish. Limit your use of plastics, disposables, and single-use projects. Stop the problem of ocean acidification. And lastly, be energy efficient. Laws and regulations on fishing to help the decrease of phytoplankton and zooplankton. The main regulation is fishing of krill. The present estimate for the biomass of Antarctic krill is 379 million tons. The total global harvest of krill from all fisheries amounts to 150 to 200,000 tons annually. Without plankton, marine animals would not be able to thrive.